What came first, the chicken or the egg? I don't know, I don't study them, I just eat them. Thought that was weird? Well, it's about to get weirder. So stay tuned! Bye. So in the past weeks, there's been beef, not meat, brewing amongst Meek Miles and Drake, slash Jimmy, slash Aubrey Graham, slash Mr. I had a brand new Acura when I was 17. You know what I had when I was 17? A bus pass. You know what I have now? A bus pass. So let's talk about it. It's not like we have jobs to worry about or bills to pay. Bills. Bills. So many bills. Now I like Drake as much as the next tween age girl. He says things like you could relate to. Like accounts in the minus. Accounts in the minus. I could relate to that. My account's always in the minus. I've accepted it. There's McValue menu for people like me. The only time you could listen to Meek Mill is when you're driving in your car with the windows down, stereo blasting, looking like a real douchebag, which I so oftenly do. Now I know what you must be thinking. I just said I have a bus pass, now I'm saying I have a car. Truth is, I have both, but I'm not above taking public transportation. I love saving gas, saving the ecology, hiding a tree, saving a plastic bag, yeah. I like to listen to Drake from time to time, you know, think about life situations and have a good cry. Running through the six with my wolf. you know how that shit go. Have I ever bought a Drake album? No, will I? Probably. They don't put anchovies on pizza for nothing. But I will say this, I have bought bootleg albums by Drake. A dollar for an album. That's cheaper than illegally downloading it. China got this ish on lockdown, yo. So Meek Mills tweets that Drake has a ghostwriter, which is a major faux pas Greek in the rap culture. And then what did he do after? Nothing. He just kept tweeting. What did Drake do? He came back with a diss record, which makes it one for Drake and zero for Meek Mills. He got two records. What, what do you mean? He killed Meek Mills? <laughs> Can't keep. That dude was on Degrassi. How's he gonna kill Meek Mills? What? Let me hear this record. Oh boy. Meek Miles, you got some problems. Let me just read you some lines that he said in the song. You got bodied by a singing nigga. He called himself a singing nigga. That's crazy, man, because Meek is like gangster, like hardcore gangster. And then you got Drake, who's not gangster. He was on Degrassi. He sings and raps, which makes him kind of soft, but he still makes good songs. And he's saying he bodied Meek Mills. Now, if that's not gangster, I don't know what is. That is cold. And he was on Degrassi. He was Jimmy in the wheelchair. And he rapped on Degrassi. He rapped on Degrassi. Just take a, just take a look. A homie is a player, and that is all. So why'd you have to go and kick his ball? And chain ain't that your name? Cause you a player hater, and that's a shame. And chicks like you ain't worth too much. So shut up, girl, and make my lunch. Yeah. Yeah. That was him rapping on Degrassi. Meek Mills got bodied by him. Is that a world tour or your girl's tour? Man, I don't know what Meek Mills is gonna say to that. At a loss for words, I'm having brain farts left and right. That one just came out my ass, but still, having brain fart smells. Trigger fingers turn it Twitter fingers. This is just all types of effed up. Drake's bottom was here. Meek Mill's bottom was here. And this dude is tweeting. And this dude is rapping. It doesn't make sense. What's the world coming to? I don't know. I don't know. Now here's the thing. Meek Miles, you just can't mess with Drake. He's a household name. He's right up there right after Sunlight and Mr. Clean. Meek Mills? He's not a household name. He's a good rapper. I like Meek Mills, but he's not a household name. So in conclusion, like the essays that I hated writing in high school, Meek, buddy, pal, compadre, you just shouldn't have done that. This just in, Meek Mills finally responds to Drake's diss record, but it pales in comparison to what Drake already had. All you had to do was just ask this one line in your song, just this one line. Did you even write that diss record? That's it, but no. 
You went and said a bunch of shit I can't even remember. There's not one memorable line in that song. That's how insignificant that song was. But that's just mine's opinions. Anyway, tune in next week where I rob a bank to pay my bank fees. Later. And always, keep it weird. In my opinion, there is no actual beef. It's just for publicity. They're all Illuminati. They're all in on it together. Anywho, check out my new bag. Love the color. Uh,